that's a popular one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, greetings to you all. My name is Willy Wonka. You see, I'm something of a magician. Daunting because the character's beloved. People are very protective over characters they love and skeptical about Hollywood remakes. But I think we did a great job. I, I'm very happy with the film. Tom Davis is hilarious. We had a lovely time. Yeah. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I'm excited that a whole new generation will get to enjoy the proper old school masterpiece of a great big, glorious, sumptuous film. Um, and I think it's one that kids are going to watch every year and enjoy it. And grown ups. And, you know. Thank you. You're going to go we, we wanted to make a movie that would stand as a companion piece to the Gene Wilder movie, which obviously has these enduring classic songs like Pure Imagination, the Umblump song. And, uh, and, and w once we were able to sort of get our hands on those, you sort of go, well, we want to make a film that feels like that. So it's a, hopefully it's a fun, adventurous story, but it's also got great songs at the heart of it, written by Neil Cannon of the Divine Comedy, who's another one of my heroes. So. So we knew we wanted him in. There's a lot of there's a lot of clues that Roald Dahl left as to what Willie did before Charlie and Chocolate Factory, and his troubles with Fickle Gruber, Prodnos, and Slugworth, and and um, so so we felt confident if we just picked up on those clues, we could make something that Roald Dahl would be proud of. Yeah. So you're the funny little man who's been following me. Funny little man. How dare you? I will have you know that I am a perfectly respectable size for an Oompa Loompa. A lot of training, a lot of, lot of uh, vocal lessons with uh, Eric Vitro in L.A. who might be watching this, maybe, knowing him. But um, James Taylor, our, our musical supervisor too, a lot of, lot of training, a lot of work. He's got such a gorgeous voice. Uh, that it, Timothy's one of those slightly irritating people who seems to be able to do absolutely everything. And uh, so, so of course he can sing and dance like an angel. So uh, of, of course he can. I think if they, if they bring Scrub Scrub out, it could be the Christmas number one. So, you know, <laughs> no, I, mean, I don't sing at all. So he, but he can sing. I mean, he, yeah, he can do it. You know, yeah. He can do everything, that boy. It makes me ill. We've all got a meanie inside us, really. It was just fun to play a proper doll type baddie. Um, I think she's not that bad, because she finds love. They find love. I think, basically, as children, they needed more love. And they'd have been maybe nicer people. I don't know. <laughs> maybe if she could have done with a cuddle and some therapy earlier on, she'd have been a nicer person. He's good. Too good. And anyone can afford them. Even the... The poor? <laughs> He doesn't like it when people say poor. Well, I would spend most of the day, you know, most of the day in the thing. It took about four and a half hours. And, uh, and I, I'll tell you, I don't even care. It could have taken nine hours and I would have sat in that chair. We had such an amazing crew that put together all my hair, my mustache, and the weight on my face. And uh, the wardrobe people had to build me different size uniforms for the different size bodies. And it was wonderful. definitely magical and just like you know I mean it's a dream come true well noodle she's like um, she's observant she's an, what she happens is she's an orphan and she's very observant she's smart she's strong and I feel like I really like you know relate to her a lot and yeah definitely. I know the day has finally come we made this film the height of the pandemic it was so cold it's cold again um, and you dream of this moment where people can finally see it. Yeah, I mean, I wish I had, I wish I had had scenes with other people in the movie that I could have spent time, I would have loved to have been with Tom Davis and, and, and Olivia Coleman. Olivia Coleman is in this movie. Olivia Coleman is in this movie, but I got to spend all my time with Matt Lucas and Matthew Bainton and Patterson Joseph, and that was a riot. A riot. Yes, yeah. you got to spend a lot of your time looking at chocolate. Yes, I did. Eating, eating and yeah. eating chocolate. Yes, exactly. Sometimes we do an extra take. I'd ask for an extra take just in case. Maybe we missed, messed it up a little bit. Let me just do one more take, and I'll have to eat the chocolate again. Oh darn it! You know. I dream of. I dream of getting. Uh, I don't know, I dream of my family staying healthy and safe and getting to continue working with great directors I love. Thank yeah. you. Good night, sir. I am going flat. <laughs>